My name is Frank Montoya. I teach 8th uh, grade math at Ortega Middle School in Alamosa, Colorado. This is my 20th year of teaching at Ortega Middle School. 20 years later, I'm still loving it. Everyone always talks about when they see the light bulb goes off. And, and that is such a special moment when you're going through something, and especially the kid that's struggling, and then you do something and they say, oh, I get it. You know, that's just such a great feeling. Talk has been about reducing the number of teachers again which is always a difficult thing. Uh, that's going to mean larger class sizes, fewer offerings for the students, which is a, which is a bad thing. Um, our number of elective offerings has been going down steadily for the last few years, uh, which I see as unfortunate. A lot of the professional development outside of the district has stopped. Um, early on, I was fortunate to be able to go to a lot of different conferences and workshops, and that has stopped a lot. Um, lately they've started giving a, a little bit of that back, but not very much, uh, not nearly as much as of the support as we used to get with that. So I, I think I'm fearful for the newer teachers that aren't going to get that experience of networking with other professionals and getting all the experience that they have to share. In the classroom we are seeing um, class sizes are, are increasing a little bit. Um, fewer resources as far as um, classroom budgets. Um, so those are probably the biggest major impact things. Here in this district we've re redone our schedule so it hasn't affected us too much, but I have lost some planning time, which is a big thing. When I lose planning time then uh, I cannot offer the, the rich experiences that I had done before because those take time to prepare, those also take time to um, assess the effectiveness of those educational opportunities. Early on I had, I had the opportunity, like I said, to go to lots of different conferences and get some experience that way. Um, I also was in some programs where I got some technology for the classroom and that has gone down. I don't have as much technology, yet I feel I have more experience, so I have... It's kind of just changed a little bit where the experience kind of takes the place of the technology. It would be great to have that technology to enhance it as well. I've been fortunate that uh, math has started to become more of a focus in our district, and so uh, some of the technology funds have gone towards math, so we're fortunate in that aspect. Um, but, you know, is it going to continue that way and then are we going to have outdated supplies that we're still using in 10 years that have not been replaced? I don't know. I kind of hear some of those rumors once in a while, especially about the not being able to get fired and that's, that's a complete lie. Uh, there are steps in place and as long as the procedure is followed that the teacher does get an opportunity to try and improve, that they get the resources they need to try and improve. If that doesn't work out, you know, then unfortunately maybe that teacher does need to find some other career, but they should not just be dismissed without the opportunity to try and improve. I've been hearing more and more that especially the veteran teachers are saying, if I were starting, I would not become a teacher. And People that are encouraging their own children do not go into education, find some other profession because it's getting more and more difficult. Um, have to do more with less. Um, our future, it just does not look good.